Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a what's new this week in the Osborne Park store. We've had some really cool product come in over the last few weeks, especially a lot of brim lollies, so I'm pretty excited. I've got a couple behind me to check out, so we'll get started over here with the new Pro Lua color. This is the watermelon color. Comes in three uh, different lures, the XS crankbait, the shallow, and the deep. It covers all your bases in the water column. It's a really nice sort of uh, silhouette color. Nice orange, red belly, green sides, black spots. Uh, it's gonna be really successful in all water conditions. They've also brought out a new smelt pattern in the SK62 as well as the floating. We've got the sinking ones here. Uh, 62 mil long pencil, nice and heavy, casts a long way, has a really good retrieve on, uh, wobble on the retrieve and on the sink. Um, really effective for pretty much all sorts of species. Uh, everything eats a sick bait. But what we're more excited about, what I'm more excited about, is the big haul of jackal we've had come in. There's too many lures to even list off the top of my head, so we'll head over to the table and I'll show you a bunch of them. So we'll start at this end. Uh, here is a big stack of the Bass Pino 70. It's a floating lure. You might be sort of fooled into thinking it's a deep diver with the size of the bib, but it's actually not. Um, I would almost call it, I would almost call it a surface lure. It dives to about 0.2 of a meter. Um, it's a little bit tricky to use, but really effective when you get it right. It has a really wide wobbling action uh, when you pull it onto the surface and, and give it a slow retrieve. You can twitch it. Uh, it's a really unique lure and um, it comes in some really nice finishes. The finish, that's one thing we'll, we'll sort of hit on and, and continue across all these jackals. The finish of these lures is really almost second to none. Um, they have some really good patterns and, and um, they'll be really effective in all sorts of species, especially the brim. It says that nice bright clown colour for everyone that likes fishing bent minnows. It comes in in the bass pino as well. It's a nice AU colour. Well, that'd be AU, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's an AU colour. Quite nice, natural, and I really like, like a, that one. Like a chrome flash, These bait ones. fish pilchard kind of colour. That one's Anchovy. pretty nice. <clears throat> With the sun, that thing will um get a lot of reflection on it. <laughs> Uh, as we move along, we'll come to the front of the table. There's something called a jelly sardine. It's not something a lot of people would have seen before. I was pretty curious when I saw it and decided to get him in anyway. That's kind of how this whole table went. I um, took Luke's credit card and had a bit of fun. <laughs> um, they're a really cool lure. They're like 50 mil long. It's a soft plastic with a wire through and a treble on the end. It's really unique. It's not like your traditional Z-Man or Daiwa super stretchy plastic. Uh, it doesn't float, it's, it's neutrally weighted so it'll actually sink through the, the water column very slowly. They come in some nice clear patterns. It's a real finesse bait for if you're fishing uh, pressured fish um, on like straight through line or ultralight leaders, sink it down, slow wind, give it a little hop. Imitates bait fish, little glass shrimp really, really well. Uh, I'm keen to throw this alongside some bridges and, and across like pressured flats and, and, and see how it goes. I think it's going to be really, really successful. You get th three in a pack, two come rigged with two wires and one spare body. Um, so they'll be really, really cool weapon that I don't think the fish, especially in WA, have seen before. Another really cool quirky lure is the, I'm going to try and say it, the Pyun Pyun. <laughs> it's pyun. like a, it's an ice jig basically. Um, you tie onto the top and it's, a, it's quite a heavy lure. It's about six and a half grams. And they, you basically just jig them up and down and that little fin on the back darts it side to side. You have a treble on the belly, treble on the tail. It'll be really, really good fishing dams like Harvey and Waruna, anywhere with deeper water and schooled fish. Put it on top of their head, jig it up and down. It's gonna get eaten. As well as the brim, I think it's gonna be really, really good on the brim, on structure, in deeper water. Um, it's gonna get a lot of bites and um, I think it's gonna be something unique again that the fish just haven't seen before. There's some really nice colors, a bit of glow in there, red, your prawn patterns, um, a ranger. There's a, there's a lot, there's something for everyone. Next one, we have the Abbey stick bait. These things are killer. We all love a stick bait. This Look thing's that. 60 mil long, weighs 5.3 grams. It's a very finesse, subtle stick bait. Um, its action isn't such a wide kick, it's more of a wobbling roll from side to side as it goes along in the water column. Uh, I think in Japan they use them to catch like rockfish off the night with, at night with ultralight gear. Um, very unique, have some cool patterns. Um, again, there's something for most conditions. Really cool quirky, like that green head. Um, 
long cast on the flat, sink it on structure, off rock walls, wherever you like really, anywhere you use a stick bait, you can use them pretty much everywhere and catch a fish. Um, they're gonna be really this cool. This one's pretty cool, it's almost like a watermelon red. It's an olive red yeah. speckle, that's quite a nice. Yeah, it's a really good nice fish on that one. And they all come with pretty good terminal. Most the hooks are definitely nice. sticky. <laughs> Getting them out of these packages, I did stick myself a few times. Uh, spy tails, we've had these in before. A couple new colors, they're really hard to come across, so whenever we can get any colors, we get them. This one that Luke's holding up now is really, really nice. It's like a transparent, clear pink with a bit of a blue, shiny finish. Um, really nice, natural, bait fishy prawn pattern. And then we get into some brighter patterns. Um, with a little bit of chartreuse, especially in the next one, it's kind of that chartreuse back. Um, really cool dirty water or uh, UV cloudy conditions really makes it pop. And then a really cool RU natural shiny finish. Um, these lures really work well. They have that joint in the middle, so they, they when you just slow retrieve them, they really just start to slalom or do that big S side to side. And when you twitch them, they, they dart and and, and glide off the sides as a really seductive action. A very slow sinking lure, really good on shallow flats. Um, winter time, yes, but summer especially, when we get back into summertime, um, brim, giant herring, I'll give you the tip, love them. Um, really effective lure. All right, now we're getting to the really good stuff. Uh, in the front here, we have the new Lil Bill 70F. It's a 70 mil jerk bait. It's got like this extra wide bib on it. Helps it track nice and straight. Six colors, really nice finish. That's like a ghost wakasagi. Um, really nice clear water pattern. Natural RU, there's a mirror flash. Uh, there's a chartreuse. That's your, my your favorite. Your pink eye suji, and then your black and gold, which is always good for your dirty waters or low light conditions. Uh, sunrise, sunset kind of stuff. They're gonna get down to about 1.2. Uh, they weigh four grams. They're gonna cast really nicely. Um, yeah, another nice jerk bait to add to the box. Twitch them, pause them, slow roll them, do what you like. Um, they're gonna be really, really cool. And now, best to last, the one thing I'm probably the most excited about, and I think Luke is too, is the TN38's brand new vibe from Jackal. The finish on these things is nuts. Um, the colors, um, it's just, yeah, they're really, really high quality. They're a 38 mil vibe. They weigh 5.3 grams, 5.1 grams. Nice and heavy, and the rattle the rattle in them is really loud. So you can hear that. Gets a lot of attention. It's different to all the other vibes out there where it's either silent or quite a subtle rattle. This will really call cool fish in from a long way away, uh, especially on those days. You can use it when it's really windy and there's a lot of turbulence in the water and it's harder to call cool fish in. Get that really strong vibration in the water and, and bring them in from a long distance. That is by far the best color. It's pretty nice, and they change again under UV. If you have a look at our Instagram, there should be some photos of, uh, of the UV of these or on Facebook as well. They really change under light, especially the classic brown Suji, which is that one there. This thing glows like this full green, solid glow. Um, it really changes. Um, you got natural prawn patterns, you got bait fish, you got uh, golds, the black even here, this black pink head, um, almost a bit of a must imitation with a loud rattle. They're, the hooks on them feel really good. Yeah, they've um, got those, um, are they BKK? Uh, I'm not sure what hooks they are. They're pretty sticky. They're a lighter gauge, but they, they seem like they'll be okay. Um, as with any hook out of the box with the Japanese lure, you use them for a few fish and then end up replacing them anyway. Usually the fish in Japan aren't, aren't as quite as big and as aggressive as the fish we're fishing for here, but they'll get you started. Uh, but yeah, the finish on these, awesome. Cast and retrieve, hop them off the bottom. Um, really good. We've already sold a stack of these. A few are in my box, I think a few are in Troy's as well. Um, hopefully there's going to be plenty to go around. We'll definitely be getting some more, but get in store while you can and check these ones out. I think that's all for the brim gear for now. I think we might switch positions and Lou's going to tell you all about the new marine power. Well, welcome back to the video, guys. No, because you all started it, didn't I? I've already started it. Anyway, I uh, had to come in on my day off to show you guys this reel. Um, because it's absolutely friggin insane. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, this is a Daiwa uh, Marine Power 3000. This is the biggest electric reel that Daiwa make, and it's the most expensive. So, this thing, it, it's pretty bloody serious. If you're not, um, if you're not bloody um, catching any fish deep dropping, you can use it to winch your boat on, uh, on the trailer because it's so bloody powerful. It's got 90 kilos of uh, drag, drag pressure. Winching not drag power. pressure, 90 kilos of pulling max pulling power 
so it's a pretty serious bloody reel um, they fit about 2,000 meters a line depending on what what line that you put on them um, a lot of guys that we've sold these, we, we, we have sold a fair few of these and a lot of guys are using for deep dropping but they're also using them for uh, pulling up dredges and they're, they're actually pretty bloody good for it but five and a half kilos it's it's a serious fishing reel it's got a serious uh, price tag to it as well I think they come in at 5899 so it is uh, it is pretty expensive but it's something that will last you forever if you look after this reel um, this thing here, it, it's not going to burn out, um, it, it really is going to last and it's just, it's epic. I mean, wouldn't you love having a couple of those on the boat? If you're not catching anything, you'll at least look good doing it. Now, the other thing that I really wanted to show you guys as well, um, which we just got them in, is the new HPA bags. So this is the HPA, um, they're called a, a hybrid waterproof duffel. Now, these are actually military grade. They Again, they're not cheap. They are an expensive bag. They're $549, but this bag is, it's one of the best HPA bags that I've seen. Everything on it is absolute quality. Um, you know, you can use it as a backpack. You can use it as a duffel. Um, you can float down a river on it because it's completely, it completely seals up, okay? So it's actually got a little um, air pump thing on it so you can seal the bag up and fill it up full of air um, don't know what you'd want to do that for but yeah just absolutely top quality from HPA we've got them in two colors so we've got the military green which I think is the nicest and we also have just the full full black one but a um, bit of a limited run on these things I mean they are pretty expensive but you know, we, we got them in, we thought we'll give them a crack. But if you want the best of the best, then um, check these out in store. We only have these at our Osman Park store, but you can order these at tacklewest.com.au. Um, but yeah, if you want the best of the best, HPA hybrid duffel. I didn't, um, there wasn't much of an announcement on these, which everybody wants them, the Nomad Squid Tracks. We did get a an order in the other day and they pretty much lasted um, well, that's all we have left of them, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. But if you do want Squid Treks, we do have another order coming, um, hopefully next month. Just stay on our website and keep watching because they are the number one lure at the moment. But while we're on Nomad, um, we've had a fair amount of stock just come back in, which has been very popular. Um, but everyone seems to want them, and we have them again, is Mad Max. We have them in every colour about Mad Mac 200 so especially for all of our um, USA customers uh, Mad Mac 200s they're finally back in stock we have every single color and we also have the new red bait color this is I think this is probably the nicest one out of the range but that's the new red bait it's been working really well a lot of good reports on it so um, for everybody that wants Mad Mac 200s We've got them. We've also got the 160s in every single color. And we also have the 130s. The 130s, a new one, a new size that's just come out. This is really um, gonna be a really good one for guys that are fishing up at like Steep Point or off the rocks um, for mackerel, if I can get it out of the packaging. You can even obviously troll with these as well, but the little Mag Mac 130, um, they've got the auto tune tow point. They come rigged with all Good quality BKK, but you can cast with it, you can troll with it. Um, but they're all in stock, every single color. And then, yeah, that red bait color that I was talking about, we've got that in a, quite a number of lures. So we've got it in the DDX 165, we've also got it in DDX 200, and then it's also available in. You got Mad uh, Mad Scad and Riptides, so check that color out. And another thing from Nomad that we just got in as well. This is a really handy uh, the the splash bag. So these are really good for storing your lures. So they come in two sizes. There's a large, which is this one here, and then there's also a small. Now, good thing about this is you can throw all your lures that you're using on the day into this bag, and then you can go and wash it and air your lures out but they're um, a really handy one we've got them in a small size as well which I'll show you they're not too expensive the small ones only 27.99 I 
the big ones, $39.99. But, you know, great for, you know, GT lures like these. You can throw all your lures in them. Keep it all nice and organized. Small, small tackle bag. But, yeah, Nomad uh, Splash Bags. They're in stock now as well. And you can order them at tacklewest.com.au. So lastly, I'm just gonna show you from Yeti um, some of the new stuff that we've got. Now, the latest thing that's just come out is the new Yonder bottles. Now, they're just a lightweight plastic water bottle. Um, they come in one liter and they also come in 750 mil, but there's uh, four different colors to choose from. So you've got your clear, you've got your sea foam, you've got the, I guess this one's navy, and you've also got charcoal but they're all available now. Um, we've also got a fair amount of stock of the two limited colors for this season. So we've got the um, canopy green and the desert clay. So we've got all of those. And we've also got buckets back in stock. So the buckets have been really popular. Um, it is a really expensive bucket, but once you own one, you'll realize just how bloody good they are. But um, they come, well, depends on how you want to rig it up. You can buy the bucket by itself. But then you can add all the accessories. So you've got the lid, you've got the caddy. Okay, so this thing, this thing's really good, I find, on the boat because you can put all your sinkers and your rigs um, and just you know, your terminal and stuff that you're using throughout the day in the caddy. And then you've also got the utility buck, uh, belt on it. So that's really good for like pliers, um, knives, just anything that you want to stick in there. But Yeti buckets, everything Yeti, we've got it at the moment and we've got plenty of stock. So. I think that's going to wrap up the video. Oh, what else have we got? Go boxes. Oh, go boxes. Yes. This is something that everybody's been wanting. They haven't been in stock for quite a while, but go box uh, in the 30 size and the all new go box in the 15 size. So these things, we only got them this week and they've already been trucking out, but this thing is a fully submersible, um, it, it's just a, I guess, you know, you could use it as a tackle box, you could use it as a storage box, as a camera box, um, whatever you want to really use it for, but these things are $179, and I think they're, they're a pretty good little, little box for bringing on the boat or bringing camping, whatever you want to do, but you, like I said, you've also got the 30 size, which is the big boy, it's just, yeah, double the size. That comes with, the, I mean, you can use that for leader or hooks or flyers or whatever you want to put in there. Johnny's blue, blue um, magazines, whatever you call them, right? But there you go, Yeti Go boxes. Lastly, guys, um, electrics. We've got absolutely stacks and stacks of stock of electric combos at the moment. Um, we absolutely have <laughs> the, the, too many of them. So we've got them all fully rigged up. Um, you can order these all online as well, and we'll post them out to you. They're already fully spooled, ready to go. But um, we got Tannicums, we got the all new Sea Powers, we got uh, Sea Borgs, we got Leo Brits. Uh, we pretty much have all of the Daiwa electrics. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video for this week. But you can check out all the stuff in the description below. I'll link all the products uh, in the description, and I uh, will see you next week.